guys might know by now that summer is my favorite season, okay? I grew up in the Caribbean and this is the moment of the year that I feel most at home, even though I'm very far away from it. <laughs> I wanted to show you how I wear red lips during summer. How do I make them work? Because you know, even me, I hesitate sometimes on wearing red lips when it's very hot outside or sometimes I don't know how it's gonna work with my summer dresses. I hope that you guys enjoy and let's start from the beginning, shall we? <laughs> Okay, first, before applying my makeup, I always start with my skincare routine. The first thing that I apply is always the Kate Somerville Antibacterial Cream. And then I follow it up by any type of moisturizer that you like that sits well under makeup. Um, right now, I'm trying the Tasha Water Cream because it's summer and this one is a very light moisturizer. It's very watery and it sits well under makeup and it's also very refreshing. I even put it under my eyes. I'm not gonna go very heavy on the eyes, but I always start with my eye makeup because um, I don't want to have any eyeshadow fallout. So I'm using the Morphe concealer in this really cool peachy tone. I really like this concealer. I have even used it by itself, like I put a little bit of concealer and no foundation because it matches my skin so well. And while I let it sit, I use my Anastasia Brow Definer. The, the Brow Wiz is the small one and this one is, the Brow Definer is a little bit bigger. I use it in taupe because even though I'm blonde, I, I'm like dark ashy blonde. So now that I let my concealer um, over my eyelids set a little bit. I'm gonna actually set it with loose powder. In this case, I'm using Derma Blend. To do my eyeshadow, I'm gonna use this Morphe palette. Isn't it amazing, guys? <laughs> I love this one. I'm gonna start with this kind of like blush color. This could be like a matte blush for sure. And I'm using like a pointy blending brush. This brush is amazing if you don't want to buy like three different blending brushes, like me. Look, I have four. <laughs> if you don't want to buy four, you could um, just get this one, the M513, um, right? Yeah. It is amazing because it blends, but also it has this pointy part. When you apply the eyeshadow, it kind of like applies most of it in the pointy side and then it blends with the rest of the brush so it is super practical now I'm gonna take the M519 and I'm gonna take kind of like a dulce de leche <laughs> color and I'm gonna concentrate on making my eye look bigger by deepening this area and then I take the M433 and with this dark chocolate, I'm gonna make it look even deeper. I always stop here and I'm like, what gold, vanilla, bronze color am I gonna use? This brush by Sigma, this is the Shader Lid E56, is amazing. To do like the cut crease, look, you see, I did it in like five seconds. You see, look, bam, we did that curve. Look, bam, there we go. I'm gonna put a little bit of the darkest brown we used here on the outer corner. Okay, now I'm gonna clean the outer corner and this is a great tip if, you know, you're not that good at doing your eye makeup yet. So I'm gonna take a little bit of Bioderma, which is basically uh, micellar water and a cotton round and I'm gonna fold it in half like this and I'm gonna use this straight edge to sharpen my outer corner. Look, you see, I'm gonna use it like as a guide it gives you like a softer um, 
corner edge than if you, for example, would use like washi tape, which is another trick that I do a lot. But this one sometimes is easier and it's great because you can do it like if you forgot about it, you can just do it right after you finish your eye makeup. Also the great thing about doing my eye makeup before the rest of my face is that I give the skin products a little bit of extra time to, you know, work their magic. The foundation that I always use, <laughs> apparently all year long, <laughs> is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundation. Um, on the color, I'm the color beige right now. I mean, I'm in between like beige, cool beige, something beige. <laughs> I usually with stick foundations I use the Kabuki brush. You see, when I apply it, it looks like I apply it a lot, but actually um, I just dab very lightly the foundation on my skin. The great thing is that also is very uh, buildable. So I can go back and for example, in the areas where I have pimples, breakouts, I can just do like this. Um, Anastasia Beverly Hills again, in the stick foundation range, they have uh, one color that is called shadow, that is a super light, cool tone that creates you know, the contour, the shadow. I like it. I think it's mostly for like very light skin. And for the under eyes, I'm gonna use the same concealer that I used before by Morphe in the same peachy tone. Sometimes I come back and I put a second layer of the concealer here in the area that I'm the bluest. <laughs> I set my nose too because when I do monster. I'm gonna first blend in a little bit the lip pencil. My beautiful Arriba by uh, I Love Sarai. I do in my lips before I finish my under eye makeup. I give it some time for the concealer and the loose powder to set really well before I go in with eyeshadows. I'm gonna use this Duce Leche type of color again in a super small dense brush and I'm gonna put it as close as I can to the lash line and then I'm gonna take the M433 with the blush type of color and I'm gonna blend those two together under the eyes okay I'm gonna deepen that contour that I did with cream with a little bit of contour powder this one is Laguna by NARS. I love this shade, it's so beautiful. I'm gonna apply a little bit of bronzer too. The, this one is by Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's the powder bronzer in rich amber. I'm using my, I think this is my favorite blush of all time, or is the one that I use the most. It's Luminoso by Milani. Now I'm gonna apply the Laura Mercier Face Illuminator in the shade Indiscretion. And then I'm gonna take my highlight game to the next level by using the Super Shock Chic Highlighter by Colourpop in the shade Lunch Money. Just a little bit. And then I'm gonna go over it with Flexitarian again by Colourpop. And finally, I set everything in with Scandinavia setting spray. And now I'm going to make sure it dries fast. And there we go, guys. Mm. 
this is how the look turns out. I love this look. I think that is very summer appropriate, even though we're wearing, you know, a red lip and that can be intimidating in the heat. Um, but I can see myself wearing this for like a summer wedding or like a summer date. That would be nice too. I hope that you guys enjoy this video. Like always, if you have any comments, leave them down below and please like this video and I will see you on the next one. Have an amazing summer. Bye bye. Mwah. <laughs>